Hello friends, today's story is Will Bear Share by Hilary Leung. Let's get started, friends. Bear has a lot to give. Let's turn the page. But will she share? Hmm, let's see. Will Bear share her berries? Hmm. Yes. Will Bear share her book? Yes. Will Bear share her toothbrush? No, toothbrushes are not for sharing. Will Bear share her favorite toy? Hmm. Yes, yes. How sweet. Will Bear share her umbrella? Hmm. Oh, yes. Will Bear share her ice cream? No. Uh oh. Oh, no. Did Bear's ice cream fall? Hmm, I think it did. Will Ladybug share her berry cake? Yes! What do you share? Will my children, Harrison, Haley, share this dedication? Yes! The end! What an awesome, awesome, awesome story, friends! But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Hello, friends. Today's story is for sure a classic. And this book is called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. Let's get started, friends. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Pictures by Eric Carl. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? Hmm... I see blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a green frog, a black sheep, a goldfish, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a purple cat, a white dog, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. A beloved classic now available in a board book edition for the youngest child. The end. What an awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. Goodbye. 
Hello friend, today's story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Let's get started. For my sister Krista, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out an egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. How many pears? One, two, on Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. How many plums do we see? One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. How many strawberries? One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. How many oranges? One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Hmm, I think he ate too much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, he's so beautiful. The end. What an awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. Hello friends, today's book is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast, a counting book. Let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar Eats Breakfast, a counting book. Mmm, those pancakes look so yummy. It's time for breakfast. What does the Very Hungry Caterpillar eat in the morning? How about one cup of creamy yogurt? Yes, please. One. Some mornings, he eats his way through two bowls of yummy cereal. What kind of cereal do you like? Hmm, my favorite cereal is Cheerios. Yummy. When he wants something sweet, he nibbles through three pastries. What's your favorite sweet morning treat? Mmm, I see a scone, a muffin, and a croissant. Mmm. Does he eat bagels for breakfast? Yes, in fact, he tries four. Two with C's, one that's sweet, and one that's topped with everything. Can you guess his favorite? Is it poppy seed, sesame, cinnamon raisin, or an everything bagel? Wait, are those onions for breakfast? He snacks on five. Anything can be breakfast when you're the very hungry caterpillar. Let's count the onions. One, two, three, four, five. Five onions. How about some eggs? He tries them six different ways, enjoying every bite. How do you eat your eggs? Fried, omelet, hard-boiled, egg in a hold, 
scramble Frita. Some morning he's so hungry that he crunches through seven pieces of toast, all with different toppings. What do you put on your toast? Avocado, peanut butter, jam, chocolate hazelnut spread, mmm, butter, cream cheese, and tomatoes, or cheese. Let's count the pieces of toast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces of toast. Mmm, something smells good. Eight foods cooked on a hot skillet. Some are sweet, some are salty, but they're all delicious. Which one would you like to try? Pancakes, baked beans on toast, biscuit, bacon, sausage, Hash browns, French toast, mmm. Waffles, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine juicy fruits make a colorful breakfast. He eats through each one, yum. Pear, orange, strawberry, pineapple, banana, blueberry, grapefruit, fruit, cherry, kiwi. Let's count the juicy fruits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Together, the very hungry caterpillar and some friends eat 10 of his favorite foods. Now that they're ready to start the day, what would you like for breakfast? Mmm, everything looks so yummy and delicious. I think I would like the everything bagel. That one looks really, really tasty. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The end. What an awesome story. Until next time, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story is the Very Hungry Caterpillar's First Summer. Let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar's First Summer. Hooray, it's summer. Ready to play? There's so much to explore on a warm, sunny day. Clear blue sky above, not a cloud in sight. The weather is so lovely. The sunshine is just right. It's too hot for jackets and sweaters today. Shorts and t-shirts keep kids cool as they play. The temperature is rising and it's getting hot. Find some shade under trees for a cool resting spot. Hmm, what do you think the girl is reading? Do you think she's reading the Very Hungry Caterpillar book? A gentle breeze blows like a soft lullaby. All is peaceful unless noisy bugs are nearby. Buzz, chirp, click. But these ants march quietly, not making a sound. They smell something tasty. There's food to be found. The lemonade's sour, the ice cream is sweet, and a cold slice of watermelon helps beat the heat. Lunch may be finished, but there's one stop left to make. This day's not complete without a dip in the lake. Splash! Friends meet for a swim, enjoying the sun. Summer is a season of endless fun. The end. What an awesome story. Until next time, friends. Hello friends, today's story comes from the world of Eric Carl, and the title is Happy Halloween from the Very Busy Spider. And this is a lift the flap book. Oh, how we love those. Let's get started friends. On Halloween night, the Very Busy Spider is looking for her friends. Who does she see flying high in the sky with the stars and the clouds having a very good time? 
who could it be? A hooting owl. does she see hanging upside down in a tree who flies throughout the night as fast as can be who is it a friendly bat who does she see smiling up at the moon hoping to join his friends very soon. Who is it? A kind fox. Who does she see making a Halloween feast of a crunchy carved pumpkin? A sweet orange treat. Who is it? The very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Caterpillar. The very busy spider has found all of her friends and now it's time for some spooky fun before the night ends. Trick or treat. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hello, friends. Back with another Pete the Cat. And this one is Pete the Cat Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and James Dean Let's get started, friends. Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh-oh. His basket was empty, except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs. Pink the eggs. Hi, the eggs. Thanks, the Easter Bunny. P.S. Where are these? Hmm. I wonder who left the note. Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny? <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Happy Easter, chickens. Do you have any eggs today, Pete asked. I am helping the Easter Bunny. Sure, Pete, we have lots of eggs, the chicken says. We are happy to help. But don't you need a bunny nose and a fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and a tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and the tail like a bunny's. A cat dressed up like a bunny. <laughs> now that's funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, 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 hop. Off to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color, some eggs had two. Some eggs were red and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright colored, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where, oh where, would Pete hide the eggs? Around the neighborhood for all his friends to find? Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in water spouts. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter's all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one when the Easter bunny arrived. 
Great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody. The end. What an awesome, 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 fun Easter book. But until next time, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is The Mommy Book. Let's get started, friend. Oh, yeah, this one is written by Todd Parr. Let's get started, friends. The Mommy Book. This book is dedicated to all the different kinds of moms who have worked so hard to make their life a little bit easier with their unconditional love and support, especially my mom, Love Todd. Oh, how sweet. Some mommies drive minivans. Some mommies drive motorcycles. Some mommies wear jeans. Some mommies dress up. Which one is your mom? Some mommies make snow angels with you. Some mommies play in the rain with you. All mommies like to hang out with you. Some mommies like to dance. Some mommies like to swim. Some mommies work at home. Some mommies work in big buildings. Some mommies teach you how to paint. Some mommies teach you how to play sports. All mommies like to watch you sleep. Some mommies have short hair. Some mommies have big hair. Some mommies like to cook. Some mommies like to order pizza. I know that's right. <laughs> Some mommies go fishing. Some mommies go shopping. All mommies love to kiss and hug. XO, XO. Some mommies fly kites. Some mommies fly planes. Some mommies sing you songs. Some mommies read you stories. All mommies want you to be who you are. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Yes, we love our mommies. Aren't they the best? But until next time, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story is Monster Math. And this one is written by Anne Miranda and illustrated by Polly Powell. Let's get started, friends. Monster Math. One little monster is looking at you. There's a knock on the door. And now there are two. Three silly monsters can stand on their heads. Let's count the monsters. One, two, three. Turn the page. Four bouncy monsters are jumping on the beds. Five screaming monsters are chasing each other. Six wiggling monsters are posing for mother. Seven star monsters are licking dishes. Eight blow out candles and make birthday wishes. Nine sticky monsters are washing their faces. Ten speedy monsters run. Ten monster races. The monsters keep coming and mothers lost count. Ten more make twenty. A monstrous amount. Thirty loud monsters are dancing and singing. That's a lot of monsters. 
now there are 40. The doorbell keeps ringing. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Good grief. There are 50. That's really too many. Guess who is wishing she didn't see any? She shoes away 40. 10 monsters won't budge. Five wave goodbye. Five monsters make fudge. Another departs. Four monsters are leaping. <laughs> One leaves the house. Three monsters are creeping. At last, two go home and the party is done. How many are left? Could there be only? Hmm, one? The house is a wreck and the couch has been frosted. The food's been devoured and mother is exhausted. Sounds like me. <laughs> but one little monster is grateful and glad. It's the best birthday party that she's ever had. The end. What a lovely, lovely, lovely story. But until next time, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is Your Nose, a wild little love song by Sandra Boynton. Let's get started, friends. Your Nose, a wild little love song by Sandra Boynton. Though I admire your angel eyes, there's something else I idolize. Your nose. Ooh, whoa, 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 your nose. It's got a magic I can't ignore. What can I say? I just adore. Your nose. Yes, yes, indeed, your nose. It's the sweetest little thing. Oh, can't you see? No nose is like your nose to me. Boop. Well, everyone can find a way to happiness, I suppose. When I am sad, I stop and gaze at your amazing no woo woos. I love your nose. Ooh, woo 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 woo, your nose. You can tell everybody I told you so. It's the greatest little nose. I know. Yes, everyone can find a way to happiness. So it goes. I'm happy when I see your face and it's amazing. No, whoa, woes. Whoa, 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 woes. Ah, chew. Bless you and your nose. Ooh, whoa, 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 your nose. It's the cutest little thing, and heaven knows no nose is like your nose to me. One more time, your nose. Oh, whoa, 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 your nose. Such an excellent nose. Boop. <laughs> One more time, your nose. Oh, whoa, 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 your nose. Such an excellent nose. Boop. <laughs> your nose oh, what an awesome 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 story until next time friends but don't forget to like and subscribe happy reading your nose hello friends today's story is called your personal penguin by sandra boynton let's get started friends Your Personal Penguin by Sandra Boynton. I like you a lot. You're funny and kind, so let me explain what I have in mind. Turn the page. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to walk right by your side. I want to be your personal penguin. Are they eating spaghetti? Yum, yum. I want to travel with you far and wide. Wherever you go, I'll go there too. 
here and there and everywhere and always with you. I want to be your personal penguin from now on. Now, lots of other penguins seem to do fine in a universe of nothing but ice. But if I could be yours and you could be mine, our cozy little world would be twice as nice. I want to be your personal penguin. I want to talk with you night and day. I want to be your star. Personal penguin. I want to listen to whatever you say. Look at these wings so perfect to hold you. I like to say again what I have already told you. Let me be your personal penguin. Imagine me your personal penguin. I want to be your personal penguin from now on, please. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. But until next time, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is Opposites by Sandra Boynton. Let's get started. Opposites by Sandra Boynton. Big and small, short and tall. High and low, fast and slow. Heavy and light, day and night. In and out, whisper and shout. Weak and strong, right and wrong. Hot and cold, young and old, wet and dry, hello, goodbye. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is A to Z by Sandra Boynton. Let's get started. A to Z by Sandra Boynton. A is for ad bark admiring. B is for beavers ballooning. C is for cats cleaning. Sweep, sweep. D is for dinosaurs dancing. E is for elephants eating. F is for frogs frowning. G is for gophers grinning. H is for hippos hiding. I is for iguanas itching. J is for jackal jumping. K is for kangaroo kissing. Mwah! L is for lion leaving. M is for moose mowing. N is for nightingales nesting. O is for owl opening. P is for penguins painting. Q is for quails quacking. R is for rabbits running. S is for salamanders singing. T is for turkey tripping. U is for ugly birds being ugly. V is for bakuna violining. W is for weasel whistling. <whistles> X is xylophone xylophoning. Y is for yaks yawning. Z is for zebra zigzagging. All done. The end. Serious silliness for cool kids. That was an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is a silly, silly, silly book. And it is called Blue Hat, Green Hat, Oops, by Sandra Boynton. Let's get started, friends.
Blue Hat, Green Hat, The Oops Book by Sandra Boynton. Blue Hat, Green Hat, Red Hat, Oops. Red Shirt, Blue Shirt, Yellow Shirt, Oops. Yellow Pants, Red Pants, Green Pants, Oops. Blue Coat, Oops. Red socks, oops. Green shoes, yellow shoes, blue shoes, oops. <laughs> so silly. Yellow hat, green shirt, blue pants, purple socks, red shoes, oops. Uh-oh, he's falling. The and what an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is How Big is Zagnod by Sandra Boynton. Let's get started, friends. How big is Zagnod? So big. How big is baby Zagnot? So big. How long is Bucknock? So long. How fuzzy are Flea, 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 and Flea? So fuzzy. How bright is Igwok? So bright. How dancy are the nimble Chloragi W Planet Nine? So dancy. How lost is Steve? So lost. How sleepy are Vizor and Duck Duck? So sleepy. Actually, Dog Dog is wide awake. Start over. <laughs> the end. What a lovely, lovely, lovely story. Until next time, friends. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story is Potty time with Pete the Kitty, a Lift the Flap Potty Training book. And this story is by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's get started, friends. Pete the Kitty is playing. Pete, do you need to go potty? His mom asks. Yep, it's time to go, go, go. Pete goes. Over the toys, past the kitchen, through the hallway, and into the bathroom. First, Pete gets ready. Pants down. Potty seat on. Read while you wait. Guitar solo time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's time to wipe and swoosh. Unroll and clean. Pants up. Press the lever. Whoosh. Next, Pete scrubs his paws clean. Soap and scrub a dub 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 dub. Rinse both paws. Towel dry. After Pete the kitty is all done, high five. Pete's potty chart. 
Check, please. Sticker time. I did it. Yay. Rock it out. Potty time can be fun. The end. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. Until next time, friends. But hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy pottying. You can do it. Hello, friends. Today's story is The Story of Martin Luther King Jr. Written by Johnny Ray Moore. Let's get started, friends. Every January, we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. Do you know why we remember him? I have a dream. Martin was born in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. His father was a preacher. His mother was a school teacher. Martin liked to go to school. He always did more than his teachers asked him to do. Martin's school was old. It needed a lot of fixing. The school for the white children was new. Martin and his mom and dad liked to eat out, but some restaurants would not serve them. Hmm. Martin could not drink from all water fountains. He had to find one with a sign that read colored. This made Martin angry. He wanted to go to the best school. He wanted to eat at any restaurant and he wanted to drink from any water fountain. When Martin grew up, he became a preacher. One day he spoke to more than 200,000 people. Martin said, I have a dream that my four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin. Martin made his dream come true. Now we all can eat in any restaurant. Drink from any water fountain, go to any school. And dream our dreams, just like Martin Luther King Jr. Meet Martin Luther King Jr., the celebrated civil rights leader. With this simple book, little leaders will learn to discover who Martin was, how he excelled in school, became a minister, and worked to end segregation in America. The end, friends. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story is You Are Not Small by Anna King and illustrated by Christopher Wyatt. Let's get started, friends. You Are Not Small by Anna Kang and illustrated by Christopher Wiant. To Kate and Lily for inspiring us every day. We love you exactly the way you are. You are small. I am not small. You are big. I am not big. See? They are just like me. You are small. I am not small. See? They are just like me. You are big. You are all small. You are all big. Small, big. Small, big. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. See, I am not small. See, I am not big. 
No, you are not big. You are big and you are small. And you are not small. You are small and you are big. I am hungry. Let's eat. Boom, boom, boom. You are hairy. The end. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful story. But until next time, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading, friends.